This is the HPT. Sit right down. Put on your poker face. You with the big dogs now. Better bring your best game. Talk trash all you want. To me, it's all the same. You won't leave with much when you come in second place. And I'm the one with the stack showing seven to the jack on cry. Mama, cause I'm sending you back. I'll be the last man standing with the money in my hand. I'll be the last man standing with the money in my hand. Last man standing with the money in my hand. I'll be the last man standing with the money in my hand. How you doing, everybody, and welcome to the HPT. I'm James Larson, joined by Robert Williamson III. This week, the HPT, another exciting final table as we are at the Ameristar Casino Hotel Vicksburg. We started with 73 entries, and now we are down to our final nine. Somebody's going to go home with the title, Robert, and a whole lot of cash. Tell you what, tonight we have a big cast of characters and some hot poker action, too. It's going to be fun. We've got a little side note as the cowboy, John Land, just a couple of weeks ago, he final tabled in Oklahoma, and he's back again to try to take down his first ever HPT title. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight here on the HPT, so with no further ado, let's go ahead and meet the players, and most importantly, take a look at the prize pool. Prize pool today, James, is up over six figures. And I'll tell you what, first place prize money, 32,678 buckaroos. And everybody at this final table is guaranteed to make at least $3,881. Nine players going to battle it out to see who our new champion is going to be. Right now, Ben Thomas leading the pack with over 340000 But right behind him, Jeff and Michael. It's the HPT. We're coming to you from the Ameristar Casino Hotel, Vicksburg. And today we're filming inside the Bottleneck Blues Bar. It's a really cool venue, Robert, that features live blues artists every Friday and Saturday. It's designed to resemble a 1930s Delta-style theater. No theater tonight. Tonight we're playing poker. We sure are, but it's great to be back in the South, isn't it? It sure is. They know a lot about poker down here, and it's great to be back in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Action is folded around to Michael Trailer. Michael's going to fold. Now to the button we go. And the Cowboy, this guy's running real well. Just a couple of weeks ago, he final tabled in Oklahoma. I was going to say, we've been seeing a lot of John, the Cowboy land lately. He's going to raise 18000 with his 6-5 on the button. Now we go to the blinds. Starting in the one seat here with Ben Thomas. He's 40 years old with a quarter million lifetime earnings. And he's going to make the call with pocket deuces. The big blind of Anthony Payne is going to fold. So we're heads up now. John and Ben, 6-5, going up against the pocket deuces. And the flop, King 7-5, couple of hearts. A little connection for John, bottom pair. And uh, Ben's got the real bottom pair, deuces. Yeah, Ben was uh, fishing for a set here. No luck there on the flop. The action goes check, check. So we go to the turn card now. The turn card is the seven of clubs. Really no help. Doesn't look like a very important card for either one of them, but I think both of them might think they have the best hand right now. So Ben reaching for chips now. His two pairs, sevens and deuces. He's going to bet 23,000. John's got the better hand, as you can see. Sevens and fives. He's going to make the call. Yeah, I don't blame either one of them. I would have felt like I had the best hand after a check, check on the flop. John Land is 50 years old, 210,000 lifetime earnings. River card now is the nine of hearts. Well, that might slow things down a bit. Now it's put flushes and, and there was already sets out there and a lot of straight draws. Keep in mind, it's the first hand of the night too. Nobody wants to get too crazy on the first hand. And it goes check, check. And Ben's gonna see that John has the better hand. So the cowboy is gonna take hand number one tonight with his two pair sevens and fives. So he says in his uh, bio here, his paperwork, his plans for the cash tonight, he wants to bet it all on block. He's a man after your own heart. And he's from Dallas, Texas on top of it. Hey, I love this guy, fellow Texan. So yeah, just a couple of weeks ago, he got second place at our Oklahoma event. This guy likes to kid around. He says he got the cash to play that event. He had to rob a 7-Eleven and then dodge the 5.0. What's the 5.0? Oh, I think he might have been bluffing <laughs> about that part. Uh <laughs> Great to have John back at a final table running real well this year. Action now over to Anthony. He's reaching for chips, and he's going to raise it up. Going to raise it up to 17000 with his five tray. Yeah, it's uh, pure steel here. A little thieving blood today. Action over to Jeff. Now he's going to make the call with a real hand, the ace jack of hearts. Michael folds on the button, and now over to Larry. He looks down at king eight. Larry White, 66 years old. They call him Lucky Larry. He's going to fold. 
any name including the word luck in it, I like that already. So small and big get out of the way. It's Jeff and Anthony heads up to the flop. And we see a flop of Jack, 10, 9, couple of diamonds. Well, top pair for Jeff. Anthony uh, didn't quite connect on this flop, but he's going to take a swing at it anyway. Out of position. He raises it up. I like it. And now a continuation bet of 18,000 chips. Jeff caught a jack, so he's not going anywhere. He's also got the ace in his hand, so he's going to raise. I like it to 45,000. He's trying to find out where he's at. This is a very highly coordinated flop with two diamonds and three straight cards already on the board. Jeff just, this is a feel raise. One of those, let me see where I'm at kind of hands. And Anthony's kind of smiling a little bit here. I think uh, it? maybe a little TV time and probably a fold, right, Robert? Yeah, I think this is just a little case of Hollywood and we do get the expected fold. I love the aggression by Anthony, but this time it doesn't work out. The winner of the hand is Jeff, a 50-year-old pro poker player from Los Angeles. We'll be right back after these messages. You're watching the HPT. Welcome back to the HPT. It's James Larson and Robert Williamson III. This week, we are at the beautiful Ameristar Casino Hotel, Vicksburg. And Robert, when you talk about history and poker history, we are right here at the Mecca. This is where riverboat gambling first started. We're right on the Mississippi River. We're giving away a lot of money tonight on the HPT, so let's head back down to the felt, pick up the action. Looking at the chip count, a little flip-flop up top. Well, that's one way of putting it. Uh, Jeff Needleman, our new chip leader at the moment. Ben Thomas still up there strong. John Land and Michael Trader rounding out the top four. Nine players here at this nationally televised final table as we broadcast from the Ameristar Casino Hotel Vicksburg, right inside the Bottleneck Blues Bar. These guys are so great to work with. They love poker down here and there's so much action tell you what and there's some good live music too there sure is we're down here in the south the food's good the music is good and the poker's good how yeah, about the service and hospitality let's throw it all in there action is over to anthony payne he's gonna raise it up he's gonna go up to twenty-one thousand with his king queen of diamonds we're starting to see early here anthony likes to gamble he likes to raise this time he's got a decent hand tell you what we're gonna have to start calling that hand the hpt hand <laughs> Players on the HPT love the King Queen. We see it all the time. This time it's suited up in diamonds. So now it's folded around to Freddie in the big blind, and he's going to three bet shove. Well, not a bad position for Anthony. King Queen, 103,000, but unfortunately, that's most of his chips. Yeah, he's got to make a decision, and he's going to do it. He says, let's gamble. He's going to make the call, and he's going to see he's got two overs to Freddie's tens. Well, that's like best case scenario for Anthony. He's got a coin toss. And the flop, two fours and a seven, a couple of hearts. So, so far, so good for Freddie. Freddie is 62 years old, plans to give his cash to his grandkids. Poker is just a hobby for him, but he's making some good money tonight here on the HPT. Turn card is another heart, this time the deuce of hearts. The only person with a heart is Freddie. I was hoping Freddie was going to adopt me. He said he's giving the money to his grandkids. <laughs> uh, hey, Freddie, come on. The river card is the deuce of diamonds. And no help for Anthony, and Freddie's going to get a very important double up here early at this final table. Two pair for Freddie, tens and fours, the winning hand. And he's going to keep his tournament hopes alive, but the real story here is Anthony. He's left with very few chips now, Robert. He's only got one move, and that's going to be called all in, and it's going to be having to come soon. Freddie's been playing poker for 40 years. 40 years this guy's been playing poker. That's a long time. Well, about as long as I've been alive. <laughs> All right, action on the one seat of Ben. Looks down at A7. Ben's going to fold, as does Anthony. Now over to Jeff. He's going to fold. Action to Michael in the fourth seat. He folds. Over to Larry now. I think when Michael folded, he looked at his hand and says, Who dat? <laughs> Looks like he's a Saints fan. Action folded around now to Freddie, who recently doubled through Anthony. He's going to raise it up to 25000 with Jack Tana Spades. Scott's going to fold on the button. Action over to Michael Trailer now. Looks down at Ace Queen. His plans for the cash, probably maybe get a new tattoo, I'm guessing. <laughs> well, maybe just a touch up on the other arm, you know. And Michael Trailer is going to make the call. Now over to the big blind of the Cowboy, and he's going to fold. So we're heads up now, Freddie and Michael. And the flop is ace, queen, seven, rainbow. Look at that. That flop hit Michael right across the face, top two pair. But Freddie's got the gutter draw for Broadway. Michael's going to check, and Freddie says, hey, I'll take a free card. And look at that free card, the king of clubs. Freddie makes it straight. 
Oh, Michael's going to regret that original check. Michael's going to bet 29,000. What do you want to see Freddie do here? How about just a flat, maybe? I like a smallish raise. You don't want Michael going anywhere. And obviously, Freddie doesn't know Michael's got two pair. <laughs> well, so much for a smallish raise. All in. I guess I misplayed this one pretty good. And Michael kind of talking to himself, saying, obviously, I didn't play this hand very well, did I? Yeah. Why so much, Freddie? The question is, can Michael get away from this, Robert? I can't if I'm Michael. And he's going to fold a good fold oh. by Michael Trailer. Nice hand. Wow. Freddie shows the hand. He shows Broadway. I don't know if I like that show there. <laughs> no, giving up too much free information. I don't like that at all. And plus, you've reaffirmed that Michael was right in his fold. Freddie is 62 years old. Like I said, been playing poker for 40 years, married with two children. And he's on a heater here on the HPT. Hagar for Scott going to raise it to 22,000. Now action over to Trailer with his pocket eights. Well, that's just bad timing for Scott, pair against pair. And we'll see what Michael does here. And Michael is going to three bet here, going to go up to 38,000. I like that, Robert. 30. Yeah, I like it, except I don't think he raised quite enough. And now the one seat of Ben's going to fold, but Anthony wakes up with pocket sevens, and he's all in. Yeah, with the short stack, he's going to get a collar for sure, I was I call. suspect. Now Scott folded his pocket fives, and Anthony's going to see the bad news. Just a flat-out cooler here, eights versus sevens. And, you know, if this hand doesn't get any better for Anthony and he's eliminated, this was a real rough go for oh, him. That's a terrible flop for Anthony. Michael flops a set. He's going to need runner, runner to stay alive. Queen, Jack, but most importantly, the eight of diamonds. Michael Trailer flopping a set. Anthony thinking, this just wasn't my day. I should have stayed in bed. I'm not even still sitting here. Turn card, no dice. It's the king of hearts, so that's going to do it for Anthony Payne. He wanted to get to one of these final tables. He finally made it. Things didn't work out today for him, but he's going home with just under $4,000, and I know for a fact we'll see him again at another HPT event. All right, guys, and with that elimination, we are now down to eight players at our nationally televised final table. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Ameristar Casino Hotel, Vicksburg. It's James Larson and Robert Williamson III taking a look at the chip counts. One, two, and three, Freddie, Michael, and Jeff. And the recent up-and-comers, James, Freddie, Michael, and the other Michael. They made a big push to the top of this leaderboard. Action. Over to Michael Trailer, going to raise it up to 22,000 with a jack-10 of clubs. Now over to the one seat of Ben, who's going to make the call with jack-10 of diamonds. Look like at hands, but uh, different suits. Now over to Jeff. Jeff looks down with Ace King off. Jeff, born in Los Angeles, now resides in Houston, Texas. Another Texas boy. So a re-raise now to 41,000. Once again, I don't think he raised quite enough there. Action now over to Freddie. Looks down at Queen Six of Hearts. Freddie playing somewhat of a heater here recently, but he's going to lay that hand down. So action back now to the original raiser of Michael Trailer. He's going to make the call. And now over to Ben. I think that's going to bring in Ben as well. Like you said, maybe the re-raise just not enough by Jeff there. Yeah, I really feel like he should have raised a little more there. And now he's got not one Jack-10, but two Jack-10s following him. And the flop, look at this, two aces and a tray. Well, not only a good flop for Jeff, but it might be hard for him to get paid off on this one. Yeah, those two aces out there, I think, are going to probably scare both Michael and Ben off. Michael Trailer's going to check. Ben checks. Now, what does Jeff do here? Does he play coy? No, oh, he's got to slow play this. Too strong of a hand. So he's going to bet 50,000 chips. going to be hard to get any action on this. Obviously, easier for us as we can see the whole cards here on the HPT, but... Two aces out there. I think both these players are going to fold, and that does happen. The winner of the hand is Jeff. He told us if it weren't for poker, he'd be flipping burgers or working at 7-Eleven. He loves coffee, and he wanted to know why in the hell do we start so early? 
lines are 6,000, 12,000. With a 1K ante, I'm James Larson, joined by professional poker player Robert Williamson III. Action will start with the Cowboy. He's going to fold. Now over to the one seat of Ben. Ben got the sunglasses on now. You ever play with sunglasses, Robert? Well, unfortunately, because of my eye condition, I always have sunglasses on. So now you yes. have an eye condition? What's your eye condition? I didn't know anything about your eye condition. Well, uh, let's say the only person out there that has it the world would know would be Bono from U2. Oh, wow. You never see him without sunglasses. Fold it around now to Freddie on the button. Freddie looks down at Ace Deuce. Freddie's going to fold over to Scott now in the small. Haven't seen a whole lot out of Scott tonight. Yeah, he hasn't played a lot of hands, but sometimes, uh, you know, that's not a bad plan. All right, let's see a flop. Now over to yeah, Michael Trailer says, let's see a flop. He's going to defend in the big blind. So he's going to make the call as he looks down at five deuce, mixing it up a little bit there from the big blind. Five deuce is a pretty loose call. Get it, James? Yeah, I, I get it. Flop is seven, six, four, a couple of diamonds. Good flop from Michael, who's got an open end straight draw. Yeah, that's about as good of a flop as you could hope for with the five deuce. So action over to Ben now. Just going to continuation bet here. Probably has no idea what his opponent has. Yeah, this might be a good spot for Michael, actually, to do a check raise. Ben's going to bet 44000 Yeah, I see a raise here in Michael's future. Yeah, I hate just a flat call here. But uh, I guess Michael doesn't mind one. Michael's going to make the call. Stringing Ben along here. We go to the turn card. And that turn card is another seven, this time the seven of hearts. So Michael's first. We'll see if he leads out this time. Yeah, Michael's playing this hand very conservative. Michael's going to check. He's from Dallas, Texas. 80,000 in lifetime earnings. So both players checking that turn card. And now we go to the river. And it misses Michael, the ace of clubs. So really all he can do here is bet, Robert. Yeah, I think I'd have to bluff at this one. So it looks like Michael's reaching for chips, and he's going to make a bet. I think I'd have to bluff here in that spot, too. See if it can be big enough for Ben to fold. It's going to be 66,000. I can beat two hands right here. What's that? I can beat two hands. I beat 9, 10, and I can beat 8. Well, I think what Ben's saying is... Do not have either one of those This hands. could be a hero call. I need a plus draw. Wow, I was surprised Michael answered in there saying, I don't have either of those hands. This would be a hero call. I can't see Ben putting the chips in the middle. He's thinking about it. Maybe a little TV time for him. The Terminator sunglasses are off. One earbud is out. And that's a fold. He's going to fold and show his king high. And Mike's thinking, woo-wee. Dodged the bullet there. And Ben had the right idea in mind, but unfortunately, he didn't carry through with it. So the winner of the hand is Michael Trailer from the great state of Texas. He put in his player profile, and I quote him, I'm the best here. Not everyone thinks so, but I don't care. There's no one left at this final table with as much skill as me. Well, it sounds like everything's a little bigger in Texas, and this time maybe Michael's ego. I really do like Michael's confidence, and that's what you need to do to be a champion. You got to want it. He wants it, and he thinks he's the best, and maybe he is. We'll find out, Robert. That's why we're playing poker right here on the HPT. Fold it around now to Freddie. Freddie's going to fold over to Scott. Scott looks down at Ace King. He'll probably get some chips in the middle on this hand. Like I said, haven't heard much out of Scott so far. He's just kind of letting all the other players battle it out, but now he's going to open up. He's going to raise it 27000 he was just waiting for big slick. That's all. He was being patient, waiting for good cards. Trailer folds now over to the Cowboy. Cowboy just got second a couple of weeks ago. I'd be smiling too. Life's pretty good for him. He's going to fold. Now action over to the one seat of Ben in the big blind. It's a bad spot to wake up with that hand for Ben Thomas with his chip stack. He's only got one move, and that's to shove, and he does. He's all in with ace-jack, so it's going to be ace-king up against ace-jack as Scott quickly makes that call. Yeah, sometimes chip stacks determine your action, and that time, I don't blame Ben. I would have shoved myself right there. Ace-king of clubs going up against ace-jack in the flop. Eight-five tray rainbow, so, so far, so good for Scott. Ben needs a jack or some runner-runner outs, or he is going to be out. 
eight points. Yeah. Turn card is the nine of spades, so now a jack and only a jack will help Ben. Otherwise, he'll be eliminated going out in eighth place. Hold. And the river oh, card is the oh, jack of wow, diamonds. What's the miracle jack? Just like that, Ben Thomas, he was walking out the door. He's going to hang around as he hits the jack of diamonds on the river. We'll be right back after these message. Things are heating up here on the HPT. Welcome back to the HPT. It's James Larson joined by professional poker player Robert Williamson III. Up top is Michael. Right behind him, though, Freddie and the other Michael, Michael Trailer. Up top tonight, $32,678. Not a bad little payday here on the HPT. I'll tell you what, James, this leaderboard's all over the place. One minute, you never know who's ahead. We are coming to you from the Bottleneck Blues Bar, a very cool venue. We have live music at this property every Friday and Saturday night. It was designated to resemble a 1930s Delta-style theater, but tonight it's all about poker. Action is folded around to Michael, our second Michael. We'll call him Michael M. here at the table. He looks down at pocket sevens. And Michael's hoping to make these sevens lucky. He's going to raise the 27,000. Now action over to Larry. Larry with ace queen, it's got a really tough decision. Sometimes I call here, sometimes I raise here. They call him Lucky Larry. He's got 28,000 in lifetime earnings, only $675 invested in this HPT event. So a true success story for him and what a great return on his investment. He's gonna re-raise now a three bet to 67,000. I don't mind that at all. He's got position on Michael as well. Freddie Folds now over to Scott. Scott's going to get out of the way. Now to the other Michael. Michael Trailer looks down at 7-6. Michael Trailer folds, as does the Cowboy. So action back to Michael M. Yeah, I think in that spot, that's a good, good spot to make the call. Now Larry's stack size may dictate the action after this flop. All right, pocket sevens against the two overs of Larry. The flop is ace, nine, eight, couple of spades, so Larry outflops Michael. And also, don't forget, there's already been one seven folded, so now Michael needs some runner, runner cards for a seven. Maybe Michael just gets out cheap here and doesn't lose too much in this pot. Michael's going to check over to Larry. Larry reaching for chips. Lucky Larry, we got to remember to call him, 66 years old. He's going to go ahead and make a bet of 40,000. We'll see if Michael looks at one more street here, and he's going to do just that. You know, set hunting can be fun on the flop and the turn. Yeah, but uh, I think his imagination's running amok right here, right now. Turn card, no seven. It's the deuce of hearts. Both players check him. Surprised that Larry's checked there. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't. The board's too coordinated. Why give a free card? Now, the river card is the nine of clubs. Michael might think his hand is good here. His two pair, nines and sevens, and he's going to bet 85,000. And lucky Larry's thinking, maybe I should have bet the turn. Well, I think at the minimum, we're going to see a call here. Larry's not liking the call, but he's going to like it when he sees these two hands turn over. Larry Good makes job, the call, and Michael's going to see the bad and news. I guess the check on the turn was good there because it induced a bet with Michael on the river. It actually turned out well for Larry. Well played. The winner of the hand is Lucky Larry. His two pair aces and nines as he's stacking chips here at the Ameristar Casino Hotel Vicksburg. All right, the action continues. Eight players remain up top. The title in $32,678. We started with 73 and nine at this final table. One elimination so far. That was Anthony Payne. Like I said, eight players remain, and they all want to be our new champion. Jeff's going to raise here. Why wouldn't he? Pocket Ace is going to raise at 26000 yeah, Anytime I get pocket rockets, it raises my uh, temperature a little bit. Michael and Larry folding. So action is folded around to Scott, and this doesn't look good. Pocket Queens. Oh, I don't see how Scott's going to get away from this without some substantial damage. Pocket Queens for Scott. He loves it. I feel the buzzsaw is about to make its appearance here at the final table tonight. Love Scott the, is, love the I do love the buzzsaw. Scott is all in. He's walking right into it. Fold it around, the cowboy folds, action back to Jeff. Get an insta call on this one. Jeff loves it, and both players put their cards on the felt. 
Scott's not happy. Scott's the one with his tournament life in danger here. He just ran his hand right into the aces, oh, and look at worse. this. Oh, and now Jeff flops an ace. Ace, ace 10, ace, five, a set of aces straight. for Jeff. Life not good for Scott. Look at that look on his face. The five of hearts comes on the turn, and that's it for Scotty. He's going to be eliminated at the hands of Jeff. He just ran his queens right into the aces. Just an absolute cooler. Sometimes that happens. You know what I say, someday chicken, someday feathers. It's James Larson and Robert Williamson III. Make sure to check out our webpage at hptpoker.com and find an event that will work for you. And maybe you'll be playing on national television for the life-changing cash. Once again, it's hptpoker.com. Lines are 8,000, 16,000 with a 2K ante. Action is folded around Mr. Trailer. Kind of a neat last name. Yeah, we well, looked down at trash. <laughs> right, yeah, look down at Queen Nine. He's gonna fold, and now over to the one seat of Benny. He's gonna raise it up to 77,000 with a small pocket pair. It's an oversized raise. I guess uh, I don't blame Ben. I wouldn't want anybody to play with me either when I only have two fours. Michael looks down at King Ten, suited up in hearts. I'm all in. And he's all in, Robert. Wow, that's uh, a vivid imagination for sure, but turns out at least he gets a coin flip out of this. A quick call by Benny, a coin toss is exactly what it is. Pocket four is up against the two big overs. They don't have to be that big. They could be fives or sixes or sevens. Anything's gonna beat the two fours. And it's ace, jack, six, couple of spades. So Ben's still in the lead. Michael needs a king, 10 or a queen. Mike's gonna need a queen. Ben's got some fading to do here. Any king, any 10, any queen. If he can fade these two streets, he'll double up. Deuce of clubs now on the turn. Ben's gotta take a deep breath. Sometimes you gotta shove all in and hold your breath. I said, don't worry, it's coming. And the river card is the four of clubs improving Ben's hand. He was ahead all along, but that makes three of a kind. He wins the hand, he's gonna double up to keep his tournament hopes alive. HPT teams up with Card Player Cruises each year for a week-long voyage through the Western Caribbean. We've sent home plenty of poker players with monster paydays, and you could be next. Here's a few words from one of the players who made last year's final table. My name is Jackie Bornstein, and I live in Alto, New Mexico. We live in an area that has a local casino, and I try to play in every tournament they've got, and we play regularly. We do go to Vegas occasionally, and I play there. Well, I don't really have any set plans. Um, probably chase a few more HPT tournaments. <laughs> As you can tell by her shirt, Jackie is a pet lover, and she does a lot of work with homeless animals in her local community. She took home fifth place money on the HPT cruise, and I'm sure we'll see her again soon. Get all the information on 2016 cruises at www.cardplayercruises.com. More final table action coming up next, right after this quick commercial break. Welcome back to the HPT. It's James Larson and Robert Williamson III broadcasting from the Ameristar Casino Hotel, Vicksburg. Larry White, now your chip leader. I'll tell you what, it's truly been a game of switcheroo. Now Larry on top. He's played very conservative, slowly built his way, and now he's our chip leader. Trying to crown a new HPT champion. Blinds are 8,000, 16,000 with a 2K ante. Action now on Mr. Trailer. Looks down at a nice hand there. Pocket tents. What's up? Uh, don't they say that's 10 miles of road? And he's looking for raisin chips. He's doing just that. He's going to raise it up to 35,000. Now over to the cowboy in the ninth seat. And look at this. He's got pocket queens. Oh, boy. Sometimes, like we always say, hand versus hand happens. Big hand of brewing here. A three bet now by John up to 95,000. Folded around to Michael. He's going to get out of the way. Now Larry looks down at the blackjack hand, nine deuce. Action back to trailer. He has no idea what he's about to get himself oh. into here, and now he's all in. Oh. And a quick call by the cowboy. Got your kings. And it's buzzsaw time, unfortunately, for Michael. Pocket tens, he ran him right into the queens. I don't think either player did anything wrong here. Sometimes it's just hand versus hand, and this happens. A fist pump there by the two players as we go heads up to the flop, and Michael doesn't like this at all. 
And we go, look at that, oh, right wow. in the he, window. He loves that flop. Right in the window, the 10 of spades, so a full house. I think this is what you would refer to as the reverse buzz saw. It is, the farmer actually cut his hand on his own saw. Yeah, the turn card is the Never jack easy. of clubs. So for John, only a king or a queen, or he's going to lose his hand and be eliminated. Oh, no, 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 you're right, you're right. I'm already <laughs> Seems to be handling it pretty good right now. It seems pretty positive. He's smiling. I wouldn't be. And the river card is the ace of diamonds. That makes Broadway for the cowboy, but that's not good uh, enough. The full house for Michael Trailer, tens full of kings, flops tens full of kings, is going to be the winning hand, and I think seven, that's going to eliminate John. I don't think John realizes yet that he's covered. Michael T's fixing to knock him out, and then the realization will set in. Is, but a nice consolation two. prize, this all the same for the cowboy, $4,902 to take back to Texas with him. So John Cowboy Land gets the official news he has has been eliminated going home with four thousand nine hundred and two dollars but most importantly this is his second final table within the last couple of weeks so the guy's running red hot and it's a good month for the cowboy john land goes out with a smile i like that hat the nice leather cowboy hat he's wearing yeah you know i thought most texans had felt cowboy hats. all right the action continues here at the ameristar casino hotel vicksburg this place is awesome by the way Seventy thousand square feet of gaming more than 1500 slot machines 27 table games and the area's largest selection of video poker it's located just west of jackson mississippi the full service hotel has 149 rooms 14 of which are jacuzzi suites if you're in the area stop by the ameristar casino hotel vicksburg we've got some action here Jeff opened up this pot for 35,000 with ace queen. Michael in behind him calls with 10 8 suited. Trailer folds, as does Ben. So we go heads up, Jeff and Mike. Jeff's the razor with his ace queen. And the flop is 8 5 tray, couple of diamonds. So Michael out flops Jeff. Jeff leads at the pot anyway. Trying to continuation bet. 42,000 is the bet. Michael quickly makes the calls. He's got top pair. Here comes the turn. turn card now is the deuce of spades. So an all in bet for Jeff here with just ace high and a wheel draw. He's all in. I don't know okay. if he has enough for to make Michael lay it down. He doesn't. Michael is going to make the call. We flip over the cards and Michael's going to see right now he's in the lead. Jeff looking for an ace, a queen, or a four. Otherwise, he's going to be eliminated in sixth place. Well cut. And the river card is oh, the queen oh, of diamonds. Of, speak of the devil. Just Female like devil. Yeah, just like that, a queen comes on the river. Jeff wins the hand and a pot of 400,000 chips. Unbelievable turn of events here. Jeff, 54 years old, born in L.A., now lives in Texas. His plans for the cash add to his WSOP bankroll. You know what I say about Texas transplants. Everybody's born somewhere, but you try to get back to Texas as soon as you can. Jeff loves coffee. He asked us why we have to start so darn early with these poker tournaments. What do you mean early? I think we kicked this thing off at noon today. Is that early out there in Texas? Well, for uh, poker players, I uh, put this in poker player perspective. Noon is pretty early because we usually stay up until 6 or 7 in the morning. On the button is Michael with an all-in raise with his ace nine of spades. Maybe steaming a little bit still from the last hand. Yeah, I don't think there was any need to raise that much in that spot. Unfortunately, he's fixing to find out that Larry's got ace queen and Michael's dominated. Larry is going to make the call. Freddie's going to fold in the big and we're going to flip over the cards and Michael's going to see the bad news. It's ace nine going up against ace queen. Michael hoping to catch up here. Michael looks like he just saw a ghost. And we go to the flop, and it's two oh, sixes oh. and a nine. Wow, reversal. This time Michael outflops somebody. So Michael in the lead now. Turn card is the five of hearts, so Michael just hoping to dodge a queen here, and he'll double up, and he's going to do just that as the jack of hearts comes on the river. The winner of the hand is Michael. He's 31 years old from New Orleans, Louisiana. He's self-employed and hoping to win his first HPT title.
How you doing, everybody? It's James Larson and Robert Williamson III. Welcome back to the HPT as we broadcast this week from one of my all-time favorites, the Ameristar Casino Hotel, Vicksburg. We've seen a lot of great poker. And speaking of poker, tonight, it's been quite the roller coaster. I'll tell you what, it's been like a tennis match. The ball keeps going back and forth. The next thing you look up, there's a different chip leader. Up top, our champion will go home with $32,678, a nice little payday here on the HPT. Chip counts look like that. Michael, Jeff, and Ben up top. And as you can see, the stack swing, Michael Trailer. Things are looking good for this guy. I'll tell you what, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. Michael's catching cards, making bets, and hoping to be our newest HPT champion. Action on the one seat of Benny. Looks down at 7-6. But, 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 Benny. Benny's going to fold with the 7-6. I can sing, too. Oh, he jetted his cards into the muck. He sure did. Jeff's going to raise it up with Ace King, a hand we've seen a lot tonight here at this final table. The big slick. He's going to raise the 35000 Frank folds now over to Freddie. Freddie got hot early on in the broadcast tonight, but haven't seen a whole lot from Freddie as of late. Freddie's going to make the call. Talk about playing a tournament like this. Sometimes you just got to kick back, lay in the weeds, and let the other players play it out. Yeah, sometimes if the players are eliminating players, you just keep moving up on the pay scale. Get a higher payday. And, you know, there's going to be times, obviously, Robert, where you're not catching cards and you've got to stay focused and just keep mucking those bad hands, don't you? Otherwise, you can get yourself into trouble if you get bored. You sure can. The flop now is ace-king Trey. Wow. Jeff ordered that up, I think. Yeah, and Freddie might get some damage here. I don't know that he can get away from this flop. Freddie with ace-nine looking down. He's going to, I mean, he might lose all his chips in this hand. If he falls in love with this hand. And he's going to make a bet of 40000 Probably enough to get Trailer out of the way. Trailer can make running cards for a flush. Running cards for a straight. But things not looking good. He folds. Now over to Jeff. Who flopped the absolute works here. I love this flat call. The trap has been sprung. And Jeff has a good chance of trapping Freddy for some more chips now. The turn card is the five of spades, and I got a sneaky suspicion that Freddy thinks his hand is good here. Yes, the way Jeff played his hand, I think you're right. I think Freddy does believe he's got the best hand. Freddy's very calm and cool as he slides 45,000 out. We'll see what Jeff does now. And now Jeff's going to put Freddy to the test, putting him all in. Yeah, this is a tough lay down for Freddy. I don't know if he can make this lay down or not. I think he makes the call. I think he makes the call. I think he still thinks he has the best hand. Wow, and he folds. I was wrong. Give credit to Freddy. That was a great lay down. Very nice lay down from the Lafayette player, Freddy Ardwin. Freddy is 62 years old. Poker is a hobby for him. He's been married for 43 years. His plans for the cash give it to his grandkids. But let's let's rewind a little bit. He's been married for 43 years. It's unbelievable. It's quite an accomplishment just in itself. Congratulations to you, Freddy, and your wife. Married 43 years with two kids. All right, Benny's going to raise it up to 52,000 with his ace 10. Puts the shades back on, a la the Terminator. Now over to our Saints fan. Michael's going to fold over to Larry. Larry on the button, releases his hand. Now Freddy in the small blind, lost a few chips the last hand. He's going to fold over to Trailer. We'll see if he defends here in the big. Looks down at ace-8. Probably good enough for him to make this call. He's like 240 behind, right? I think in this spot, I'd probably defend like too. Trying to see what more. Ben's got left before he... Decides to make the call and or raise here. I think he's actually considering a raise here. Reaching for chips. And Trailer is going to make the call. So Michael and Ben going heads up here to the flop. And the flop is ace, queen, ten, couple of hearts. We've seen this several times tonight. Someone flopping two pair and the other player flopping top pair. All right, so Trailer is going to check over to Ben. Ben flopped two pair aces and tens. He's going to bet 90,000, and Michael says all in, and Ben can't put his chips out there quicker. Don't blame Ben. 
Ouch. And Michael says, ouch. He didn't have any idea. That's the problem with calling pre-flop with weak aces. You get yourself in trouble when you flop an ace. Seven of diamonds comes there. on the turn. And now the river card is the five of spades. Ben is going to win the hand. And Michael's not happy at all. How much? Major blunder there from Michael Trailer, our current chip leader, who's not going to be the chip leader anymore after this hand. Ben Thomas is 40 years old. He final tabled the last time we were here in Vicksburg. His hometown is Baton Rouge. Worst thing ever in his life was living in Alaska. The best thing in his life, moving out of Alaska. He told us before the <laughs> final table. I thought Alaska wasn't so bad. It's a little cold. I know there's a lot of snow. It's beautiful if you like polar bears, especially. <laughs> right. Some people have accused me of looking a little like one. <laughs> Michael's going to raise to 52,000 with his King Jack of Diamonds. Fold it over to Freddie now on the button. And now Freddie's all in. Yeah, and once again, stack size made this the right play. Freddie definitely shoves in that spot, just like I would. Freddie's all in with his ace jack, action back to Michael. And Michael's going to make the call, and he's not going to like it, as he's going to see Freddie's in the lead with his ace. It's ace jack going up against king jack. Another dominated hand. Let's see if Michael can outflop him again. And we go to the flop, and it's king 10-9. Speaking of being out flopped, a terrible flop for Freddie. He's going to need some help here. Running cards for a flush. He's got a queen for the Broadway. Turn card is the king of spades. So now Michael with three of a kind. And the river and nine of spades, that's going to do it. A full house for Michael. He's eliminated in sixth place, but he's going to go home with $5,617. And when we come back, we'll have more exciting final table action. Welcome back to the HPT. I'm Robert Williamson III, joined here by my good friend and fellow host, James Larson. Chip counts look like this. Jeff and Benny up top, rounding out the group, Michael, Larry, and Michael up top for the champion, $32,678. The prize pool this week of over $100,000. And you've seen other TV shows that we do on the HPT with a little bigger prize pool. But here at the Ameristar Casino Hotel Vicksburg, we plan to get there. And like I always say, if you build it, Robert, they will come. It's like the field of dreams. These guys have been so great here. I want to thank the entire staff for having the HPT back. And this venue that we have here, it's so great to be in the Bottleneck Blues Bar. It's just awesome to be back down here in the good old South. It's folded around now to the one seat of Benny, who recently just doubled up. He's going to make the call. Over to Jeff now. Jeff in the big. He's going to raise it up on his option. Going to raise to 60,000 with his ace 10. This is what I call blind on blind violence. Ben's going to make the call. So small versus big. Ace four, ace 10. And the flop is jack six, deuce, couple of spades. No real help for either player. Ben checks. Jeff bets 50,000. Action now over to Benny. See what he decides to do. <laughs> And he's going to raise, going to go up to a quarter million here with his ace four. Wow, a stone cold bluff here. But he's in a good position, and it should work. It really should. Jeff should release his hand here. We can see that Jeff's got the best hand, but will Jeff realize he's got the best hand? And Jeff is going to fold. The winner of the hand is Ben. Players are starting to loosen up a little bit. Ben showed his hand, showed his bluff. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would have shown that. Uh, you don't want to get called when it gets shorthanded. You want to just take down the chips are in the pot right there. Ben's catching a little steam here at this nationally televised final table. He told us in his paperwork that he's proud to be an honest and trustworthy person. You don't see that a lot in poker these days, Robert. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's a good quality or a trait to be a poker player and be trustworthy and honest. You want to be bluffing and deceitful. He can still bluff, he can still bluff. An all in now by Trailer. All in with his ace, 10 of spades. Jeff's gonna fold, over to the other Michael now. I'll call. And he's gonna make the call as he looks down at pocket nines, my favorite pocket pair. 
So it's pocket nines going up against the ace ten of spades. And we go to the flop, two eights and a five. And not a good flop at all for Michael Trailer. He needs some help here, ace or a 10, running spades. Oh, and right like that, he's in the lead. Boy, it's like you called it for him, Robert. The 10 of diamonds comes on the turn. Don't tell Michael, the other Michael, that I called it for him. Jack of spades comes on the river, so the turn card, the 10 of diamonds, does it for Michael Trailer. Doubles up and most importantly, keeps his tournament hopes alive. So the battle of the Michaels. Michael Trailer wins that hand. And folks, that's all the time we have on tonight's episode. But what a night. We've seen a lot of suck outs, a lot of crazy poker, a lot of big hands. Quite the roller coaster, my friend. I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm sitting on a seesaw, and right now I'm getting seasick from all this action. Now be sure to join us next week as we have the conclusion of this final table here at the Ameristar Casino Hotel Vicksburg. And if you're watching this show and you think you have what it takes to play on the national stage, why not give it a shot? Head on over to www.hptpoker.com. For Dre Renee, he's Robert Williamson III. I'm James Larson, and we'll see you next time on the HPT.